This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. Coach, tough way to finish up the year with a, a loss in an elimination game on the third day of the ASUN tournament for Liberty's purposes. But you fall to North Florida 3-1, to one, a team you beat four times earlier in the year. That fifth time, tough to get them. But they fought and played a really uh, tough game. What were your thoughts about that? Well, I think North Florida definitely has been the dark horse of the tournament or the Cinderella team, we say. They're really putting it together and showed a lot of heart. So, you know, my hat's off to them. They got it done. Uh, for us, our bats are just so quiet offensively. Uh, we had to, you know, do a squeeze just to generate a run, even though we had our top of the lineup up a few times. Um, you know, so, uh, you know, it is. That's part of the game. I think Julia did a, a good job. But, you know, when we hit the batter and then the infield hit um, off a kid that's probably hitting, what, 750 for the tournament or so, I don't know. But um, that just opened the door. And I thought when we had the one run, at least we would win that game. But, you know, just got to score runs. Yeah, that was the key was the Flames weren't able to put runs up when they had a chance. Today we had multiple opportunities to score. Yesterday we only had a couple chances early, really only one time we had players in scoring position. Today we had players in scoring position two or three times, just not able to advance them and get the ball in. Uh, pitching was pretty good throughout the tournament. We did what we know we do best. We just weren't able to pull it through. Yeah, that's it. And I think uh, for the seniors, uh, we might be in the NISC. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but, you know, it's hurt. it hurts when it's your last game that most of them will probably ever play in regards to fast pitch softball. You never know. Um, yeah, I think Julia might have a chance to play in Italy for their national team with their heritage and everything and possibly the Olympics. We'll see, um, you know, how that goes for her. Uh, but right now, most of them, are, they have internships or they have jobs and, you know, nursing. Jacqueline's got to finish up a few things. And, you know, Sarah Robertson has got her resume out there to get jobs. And the real world is right there right now, right in front of them. Well, it's inevitable that the rear award comes that fourth year, that senior year of eligibility. Eight of our players now are facing that. And uh, we're looking at either finishing in the NAIC or beginning to re reform our team for next year. So. Well, we're very excited about next year. It's our strongest re 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 it's our strongest recruiting class, you know, ever to this point. Um, this senior class helped put Liberty Soft on the map, and we're indebted to them forever and with the program. And they have to be really pleased overall of the body of work that they've done in four years. And uh, it's been really spectacular to see that each of our recruiting classes are getting better and better because these seniors have been able to to make it happen and put it on the map. And it began with last year's seniors and this this class of eight seniors. Uh, I mean, you look at Julia DiMartino and Chase Cassidy, you know, really have done incredibly well in the circle um, and have national acclaim and recognition and, and numbers. And it's really made a difference this program. And you just got to score runs for them. And uh, we battled and just wasn't our season.